Hey there, folks. Welcome to this Tuesday Game Reviews live stream. Uh, sorry that I uh, started a little bit late. I uh, was on Discord talking to some people and I lost track of time, so I apologize for that. Let me start the Twitch stream quickly. So, it's the middle of the day on Friday. Weird time to stream. I actually only have an hour, and then I gotta stop. So, I did, But I did want to you know, give some time, given the fact that... Um, you know, most people are off today. In the U.S. at least, like a lot of people are off. So I figured, you know, let's let's have a little stream and what the heck. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll be back here with this uh, adventure shareware CD. Where did I put the art? Here it is. Adventure shareware, but most of it's not really adventure. We found out, but this one, I mean, some of them are. We, we I think there was one game in the first part that was actually an adventure game a pure adventure which was amazon adventure it was really more of a demo than an adventure and it's it's amazon guardians of eden by access software it's not really called amazon adventure but i think we're up to um if i'm not mistaken we're up to um we did empire it was like risk it was the last one we did so we're up to 3d labyrinth which i'm sure is some basic 3d maze game but let's try it Oh, let me make sure that you can hear the audio. There we go. Let me know if the audio... Oh, it's Ken's Labyrinth? <laughs> okay, I, I didn't know it was Ken's Labyrinth, but all right, whatever. Let's let's let's, let's at least play it for a minute or two. Some people are obsessed with this game because I guess it was like the, the first use of the build engine. He, this guy, Ken, made the build engine. Build engine. But, um, I mean, in my opinion, so, nothing is... Let me know if I have to turn that down. Nothing has ever convinced me that it's not just a basic mediocre game that I really should care about or spend my time on. Welcome to Kent's Labyrinth. Nice, there's some uh, audio there. I blasted that freaking audio. How's that? If you're here, let me know if the audio is okay. Entering Floor 1 Discovery, Wicked Strange World, when tensions burn in your mind. I, I guess I should have. Um, is there an intro or something? Well, let's try that again. 3D. What did they write Ken's Labyrinth? I hit enter over here. I don't think anything's going to happen if I didn't hit enter. Welcome to I guess not. Alright. When tensions burn in your mind, escape from this place. Hey, Stars Manny. I'm here for literally an hour or so. Good to see you for 10 minutes. Um, regain your lost memories of your life on Earth. It won't be easy. What's the context here? At this level, trying to get a feel for the game. Okay. What's that? Someone's balls hanging from the ceiling? That was way too loud at first now. Yeah, I, I can tell it was way too loud. What? There's a timer on the bottom. Save it for later. I press controls to save it for later. Space to save it for later. Well, I got something. That ball is, is a point. Welcome. Map. Food. Look how basic this is. Map. That's, that's a. That, it, okay, it's a map of the level, I guess. Where's the United States all over the place? So space opens the door. Stop. Why does he save it for later? Oh, hello. Oh, now I've got... Okay, those are bullets. Alright, so this red thing I picked up was bullets. But before I couldn't shoot, he was saying, Save it for later. Can I strafe? Uh, if I can, I don't know how to do it. Shift, all It won't do nothing. I don't know if you can strafe in this game or not. What is this? Okay, that's not. Uh, I'm confused. Is you closing the door on me? I was holding on the key. I'm not sure what I was doing there. Watch where you shoot that thing. Oh, this bounces off and hurts you? Watch where you shoot that thing. Oh no, yeah, it is. It was hurting me for some reason. This is very confusing. I'm really confused why people like. Soda out of order. 
So far, I'm really confused why people like have such fond memories of this game. It looks like complete shit to me. I mean, this is probably the beta version too, or whatever the demo. What the hell is this? Hey, Luis. Yeah, it's sort of like a quote of Wolfenstein, but it's it's a game called it's a, it's a, a demo or something of a game called Ken's Labyrinth, which I've definitely heard of before. A lot of people. A lot of people have played it, uh, but like I say before, I never did, and it looks sort of like crap to me. It's made by this guy Ken Silverman. That's why it's called Ken's Labyrinth. Insert key, insert key. Okay, I get it. Those fans hurt me. No, they don't. Oh, let me try to chat with them next time, Stars Man. I'll do that for you. But that's a long, long time with the CD there. Nice job. Well, that was the end of the of the level. I, I thought I was going upstairs. Time penalty, ten times. I don't understand this. Tester, second place. Oh, it's, it just said something else, and I couldn't even read it. I hit I hit the button, and it was gone. Bad design. Another map. A lot of flickering too. Must like run through this at like high speed, I guess. Out, out, out. Shit, so much kidding me. What is that? Whoa, what the hell? Walk through this wall. Out, out. They're kicking my ass. We, I don't have strafe. What is that? It's like a zombie. Maybe I should have shot the other guy, but this guy definitely got to shoot. We dead. One second. I can't shoot fast enough, even. Wow. <laughs> I'm like pressing the button as hard as I can. I'm gonna get these great credits at the end here. Oh, now we get the story. Why can't I give me the story at the beginning? All right, the fate of the planet is in your hands. The scientific community of the planet Zogar, serving the universe of the alien race, mostly able to survive adversity. Some are extremely intelligent but lacking in physical skills, uh, like me. Others are great warriors and not match Zogarin's intellect. We will generate your performance in a unique labyrinth on Zogar, which will test your physical and mental aptitude. You get like one of those Idaho tests with music in the background. So far, not one civilization has been deemed worthy by King Zed Eyes. You fail once to say the Earth will be blown to a million pieces, each size of a pea. Your objective is simple. Find your way out of the labyrinth. At the top of the labyrinth is a spectator's box where Zed Eyes will... <laughs> has been watching, and it said, like, if you do that, you'll be safe. I guess I can just watch it again. Again, bad pro don't be a ba don't be like pro 1.0. Don't be proud of your programming, Ken Silverman. Because if you're a good programmer, you wouldn't clear the text off the screen before you have a chance to read it. Alright, so I'm back here. I gotta start from level one again. So we're gonna save the game. Save it for later. Try my Ken, test my Ken, play my studio. All right, all right. Let's let's this time I'll not try to shoot these guys. Let's see what happens. Some health. Here's a guy. Hello. Oh, you shoot me too. You see? So he's not my friend. Yeah, I mean, I guess for 1992, it's somewhat, somewhat impressive, but not a very good game. I think all these people like this game are, are like impressed by the fact that it's. Oh, I shot through that door. I have a lightning bolt. Oh, you can go in there. You'll just do not enter. That's interesting. Dude, there's both full of shit, those guys. You can shoot through these doors. Another map. Oh, you can shoot through those also. Alright, so I like the secrets. I guess I wasn't playing this properly the first time. Not that it's not that it became good. So that doesn't that one you can't go in. But a lot of these you can. But not by pressing the space bar, which opened the door for me before. It's by shooting, it lets you go in. There's probably secrets too. I gotta go get the stupid key or where it was. Where was that key? There. So there's probably another key. 
Because we saw there was like, uh, like when I went to that room, there was two two ways to go. Or was it here? The goddamn door. There were two ways to go. Insert key. And I figured you got. It. I have a yellow key and there's a yellow door. I wonder if it opens this way. No, I see it doesn't work. I can only get it this way. And that was the next level. So let's, let's just do that again. I get points every time I beat a level. Oh, I got number one this time. I wonder what I did. <sighs> again, I didn't get to read it. It says like the floor is full of bats. Let's, let's screw that. <sighs> no kidding. Bats are better that guy kicked my ass before. Was that a funny fa fantasy as Fox hide the ceiling? It was, like, that, that was the weapon, I think. I'm not really sure. I think that was my balls that I picked up. The, the red balls I'm just throwing at people now. It's the only FPS I've ever seen with a timer. This guy kicked my ass. You can't really fire the gun very quickly. But why is it like that? I wonder if this is a, 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 a the game was too sped up or something. Okay, I got a potion now. What's this? Uh, okay. Lots of potions. Uh, oh. I think someone just shot me from the back. You know, it's possible it's sped. The, 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 the speed might be too high. I mean, that's why they're able to shoot me so much faster than I shot them. Because I think I just got shot in the ass like 10 times in a row by some guy and it just killed me instantly. It was like, I heard the, the sound effect. It was like, like that. And I just died, I'm pretty sure. So, anyway, I can lower the speed, but I think I've seen enough of this game. I get the idea. So that was Ken's Labyrinth. They call it your 3D Labyrinth. What's Q runoff? Too many potions killed me, you think so? Oh god, this solo... Oh no. It's funny, everything by this solo software looks like it sucks. At least so far. <laughs> the instructions, yeah. The object of this game is quite simple, yet quite challenging. You are trying to create a path through the woods for... Again, this is not an adventure game. For marathon runners to race through. Not even close to an adventure game. Nothing adventure about creating a path through the woods. You have 40 seconds to start creating your track before the runoff begins. This starting time decreases as you get to the higher levels. If you lay down past, the runners don't get lost in the thick forest. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see five boxes in each of them section of track. The present track you play is highlighted yellow. You move your mouse out of the grid, which you want to place that particular section of track. By clicking the left button, the track will be placed. Okay, it's like Tetris or something. Something like, I don't know. I'm just gonna. Uh, I don't know. This is like. Uh, the 36 clock has expired. I thought it was a 40 second clock. Yeah, it's not an, it's not an adventure at all, Stars, man. Hill. Okay. Crosses. I hope we get the runners to cross over themselves. The previous version of the other version gave only at seven levels. However, since I believe the share of concepts should be one where the user is able to try the complete version, I therefore give you all 50 levels of play. That's so nice of you because the game is shit anyway. Oh, boss key. Let's try that. Oh, that's just options. It didn't do anything. Alright, go to game. Where's my mouse? Where they start? They start there. Where am I going? Oh, I have to use this key. This one? Oh, okay. What the hell? Oh, 
après c'est That's how it works. I'm gonna just put it as a random place like the one I want. That seems like a bad one, isn't it? Oh shit. Look <laughs> how fast they're coming. But again, I don't know if like the speed is too high because whatever, but this reminds me of that game pipes, you know? Yeah, I died. This game, I'm not playing this game, but this is like this is like the type of game that I do not like. Alright, uh, let's try Titanic Adventure. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Yeah, Beyond the Titanic. This is a shareware adventure game that I never played that was written by Scott Miller, I think. The founder of Apogee. Prepare to give yourself the most exciting adventure. First two simple questions. Are you using a color screen? Yes. How many disk drives do you have? Zero. One, I don't know. Yeah, the, 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 Scott Miller. Beyond the Titanic, a text adventure fantasy, an Apogee song production program by Scott Miller. He wants five bucks. So I'm not going to play this because... And I, I would play this because I haven't played it before, but I'm not going to play it now for two reasons. One is I don't have time to finish the whole text adventure to this stream. And number two, um, I have a separate copy of this on a disc, like a, a registered disc that I got from on, on eBay that I think was from Apogee. So... Um, I'd rather play that disc than play it off here. Just by craziness. But I'll start the game to see what it's like. So I guess it takes place on the Titanic. Do 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 I threw up I lost my voice the other day. I can't even like sing like hum properly. You're here. There's nothing I fear. Cause I know that this stream will go on. Anyway. Uh, you never knew the black canvas of the night was so full of twinkling detail. Standing on deck of the White Star's new super luxury liner, deep at sea, where the bright lights of San Francisco don't fade the night. In the night, you can view thousands of stars you never realized existed. Looking out over the icy sea, you can barely see small pieces of broken ice bobbing in the water. Rumors have it that iceberg, spelled completely wrong, the size of small mountains can be found in this region. You don't feel too worried, though. The Titanic has been touted as unsinkable, and every single passenger knows that white star. The premier shipbuilder knows her stuff. Yeah, thank you, Star Manny. You're here, there's nothing I fear, and I know that my heart... And my farts will go on and on. All right, back to our game. You're standing near the front of the Titanic. I think I think I gotta get Gamer's Grotto if I want to play this game. Um, he probably needs to do the, the the voice acting. I don't know if there's any voice acting. Well, the sounds of a wild party. The rail serves well as a place to lean on. Lean on rail. <laughs> it doesn't work. So a wild party. Uh, it doesn't work. Well, anyway, it's, it's, it looks like an interesting game. I like the use of color. Um, Scott Miller is, is, a, is a cool person, from what I can tell, and he's you know he's a pretty famous developer and uh, and businessman. I definitely want to try this game out, and I will, but I'm not going to try it now. Like I said, I have a separate copy I'm going to play, so um, let's see what happens if you curse. That doesn't work. All right, let's quit. All right, so that's Beyond the Titanic. What is visual Star Trek? I have no idea. I mean, Star Trek that I watch on TV... What the hell? I was going to say, Star Trek I watch on TV is visual. So that's the length and level of game. Play level is one, rank is Commodore. I mean, I pro yeah, Commodore's a good system. There are ten starting... How much to select it? With the mouse? Oh. Oh, I see. That's so interesting. All right, so this would be the easiest. Play level is very low, and, and I'm a cadet, and there's 25 star to play. Or I can be all the one to Admiral, and there's no time at all, and you lose right away. 
Let's try that. That'll be interesting. Sound enabled. All right, stars, Manny. Have fun. Thanks for joining. Sound enabled. Black hole gravity enabled. Tribbles allowed. Random supernova is enabled. <laughs> the Enterprise. Sorry. There are two super commanders. There are two superior factories. Query Starfleet Intelligence. And then, uh, good luck, Captain Kirk. Captain's log starting at 3000.00. The Enterprise out of time. The Federation has fallen. Plus a key for valuation. All right, I did too well. Let's try this again. All right, like play. Let's try actually something. This is really weird. Okay. Pick... okay. Good luck, Cadet Kirk. Starbase in seven one is under. Oh, so it's it's like that same Star Trek game I played a million times before, except it's mouse controlled. And is it still? I guess it's not real time, yeah, because the starting is not changing. 58 Klingons, oh my god. The, the problem with this game always, in every single incarnation of it, is that they don't get really enough time. Because, like, I mean, even this, this is supposed to be the easiest level, there's still freaking 58 Klingons. Plus it gets tedious after a while. So, it's like, this is the long-range scan, I guess, and it's a lot of information. Although I think green probably the star bases. Yeah, star base at 7, 1, 6, 5... So these are all these are all under attack, and, we're, and I'm over here, and I use my short range sensors. I can see whatever's around me, so I don't have to actually scan it. I can just see, and then my shields are up, lower shields. So, so where am I? This is a G star, an M star, a K star. This is a Romulan, I guess. This is a Klingon. This is the Enterprise. Yeah. A B star, an O star, a lot of stars. Another Klingon. What's this? Is that the star base? I don't know what the hell this is. And a, and a Romulan. Geez, so like, there's like tons of, there's like, there's, this is there's like so many enemies here. I mean, like, I just start the game with like millions of enemies. All right, let's try to shoot a photon. Let's what I have here. Docking, repair, subspace radio is 80% chance of what? Shuttle. Shuttle? Well, that's interesting. Can I actually go to a planet? Transporter, orbit lock, mining equipment, no delude to convert, arm probe, five remaining, disarm phasers, arm weapons, raise shields, disarm weapons, lower shields. Self-destruct. Death ray is 44% certainty. Casualty. Let's try the death ray. Death ray damage. <laughs> oh, that was, that, that was great. It actually worked. It killed everybody. That's That was a good shot from the death ray. Romulan destroyed by death ray. Klingon destroyed by death ray. Klingon destroyed by death ray. Commander destroyed by death ray. All right, well, there's only 55 Klingons left. But by the way, I killed like a Romulan too. That doesn't even count. The Romulans don't count. They're just like, uh, so is this, is this a star base? Oh, it was a planet. I clicked on the planet and it says planet has no resources. Did it send out one of those probes? What the hell happened? How does it know the planet has no resources? So I clicked on it? I'm super confused. All right, let's go to one of the star bases under attack if, if we can. Let's repair, first of all. Oh, I, I did the wrong one. What just happened? Some space radio? Somehow I just went to where the star base was. Uhura says, Starbase in Quadrant 6-5 is responding. First attempt to materialize Enterprise succeeds? What is this, like Star Trek Discovery? I don't understand what, what's going on here. Did I just, like, automatically warp there? Can I answer the distress call? Tons of stars. 
There's one Klingon and a Starbase. Okay, can I shoot like a photon torpedo? Where's my photon torpedoes? Uh, is it like left click and right click or something? Six commanders, zero enlisted. What does that mean? I can like convert them to my side? 49 Klingons, 15 Romulans, 12 are cloaked. What's this? What's this 48? I don't know. One wormhole, zero explored. Six bases, zero. This is a really complex game. Wow, this is interesting. I'm going to have to try this out. I don't think I'm going to do too much to get too far now. I think what I'm going to try to do is find the instructions for this. I've never heard of this game before. Visual Star Trek. And I must admit, it looks like they've made a lot of improvement. I mean, a lot of changes at least. Hey, always asleep. A lot of changes over the other one. I don't, like, I can't say improvement or not. Let's see if I, see if I shoot this guy. Let me right click and do anything. Oh, right click flew right next to him. Oh, I shot him. Oh, Klingons flee the quadrant. I flew right up his ass. That's so weird. Or can I go to the Starbase? No, don't shoot the Starbase. Oh, what are you doing? Docking? You must be a GS2. Can I use the arrow keys? No. Where's all this stuff here? Oh, torpedoes. So here's torpedoes. Auto arm torpedoes. Are my phasers even running? Oh, let's, hold on. Shields down. Weapons offline. It's kind of the video of solar winds. Sol solar winds is nothing like this. Solar winds is much more action based. I mean, you, it's. I agree, it's a good game, and it's kind of is kind of like Star Trek with a ship and doing missions. I that I agree with, but the game, this game is very different. Um, how do I dock at the starbase? What is that doing? I don't want to shoot it. How do I? How do I? I don't even know. Like, how do I move? Change warp factor. What happens if I hold the button down that, that I'm like, shoot this guy? Is that going to go there? Or are we like... What does that mean? I'm not using any energy. Star... Oh, that did do something. Star may save from attack. Starfleet Command notices and commends you. So now I docked? Docking. Okay, I got my energy back. Now can I respond to this, this other thing? Oh, I just went to the nearest star base. It didn't actually do anything. So how do I go to these guys? I had a casualty. I'm holding the, the, the button down now. Okay, you gotta hold the button down, I guess, and then let go. This is weird. So now this is this one guy, Klingon here. Kling, Klingons flee the quadrant again. So how do I shoot them, though? The only thing I don't want to do is use the death ray. I don't know how to actually... I heal this guy? I don't know how to actually shoot anything. I don't know how to arm weapons and raise shields, which I should have done. But I don't know how to... I 
How to shoot. All right. I gotta go. I gotta do, like do some research on this game and figure out how it works. But I'm definitely interested in playing it further. It looks really interesting. I agree with you. Always asleep. Um, but let's exit for now, and we'll try to play this again some more time. Let's quit. So that was visual Star Trek, apparently. Okay. Um. T Mansion. I think this is, we played this game recently. This is the game we just recently played. I'm not sure. Let's see. Yes. I don't, I don't remember as we played this game. It was like, there's a mansion that's being taken over. Like, the, the guy killed it, his wife and his kids, we think. And then he went to apparel, like he went through door to hell. And then we had to open the door to hell. And then we went in and then it said to be continued or something like that. It was a different version, though, I think. I don't want really to ask this. Yeah, so the manager was destroyed a fire. So we, we played this game already. If you want to see this game, go search for Mansion on a previous stream. Um, but I'm not going to play it now. <laughs> if you remember, like, I got pissed off. I'll just show you one thing here. There was, like, something... There was... There was something that I missed, like... The stone path around the side of the mansion wasn't it, but like, in everything you have to look. You're, like, there was something I you, obvious I missed, and I don't remember what it was now. But anyway, uh, let's quit here. All right, so that was mansion. Last half of dark is clearly last half of darkness, which um, is a shareware game as well. But I actually have the. Um, I recently acquired a copy of registered version which is pretty hard to find uh, but this is this is I believe it I'll show you guys it's this game you can't really see it because it's, it's in a protector but last half of darkness but I never played it um, so it's like three parts it's the last half of darkness trilogy this, so I guess they give you the first game is shareware and then you can try the, you could you know, if you like it, you can get the other ones. But I'll show you what it, what it looks like. I did try this when I first put the CD in to see if it worked. And um, it's really weird. I, I, I don't really understand the interface. So if you like it, send twenty one ninety five to Soft Lab, which is the company that, that completely packaged Kai of Laugh of Darkness 2. So that's interesting. It says, it says, it says if you register, you get a completely cast Kai of Last of Darkness 2. And this is the entire adventure, not the entire story. This is the end of the story. So I think they made three of them at the end. They made a lot more, actually, but they made three in that back in the day. And this is this is Soft Lab. It's the same company that produced this this package. So I and I think I have somewhere a copy of Last Half of Darkness Two, but this one is the trilogy. Anyway, um, but let me show you guys the interface because it's really weird. Are you using a mouse, yes. Last half of Darkness, say key to begin. So, it's like a graphic adventure, a text adventure with graphics. Looking up at the broken glass roof from which you made your entry, your team stand... I didn't put my light on this whole time. I just realized that. Your team stands by your side waiting for orders. Around the room there are rare and priceless paintings. But no time to browse any now. And you have a mission to complete. So, fine. But, so, like, if I click on this thing here, like, it does nothing. Look at the house, it does nothing. Now, there's commands here. If I say examine, now it works. So, it's, I guess it's similar to the old-style scum games, but except it's a really weird resolution. But the other thing is, like, if I do go... I click on the house, it does nothing, and it says, refer to, oh, that actually worked. See, it says, you see this exit map here, like, if I click on this, I go back, I thought you actually had to do this to go up to the house, but you don't, apparently, you can also click on here, but you see it says refer to the exit map for all possible exits, like, how are you supposed to know that this is here, I mean, you gotta sort of just figure it out. 
like this one is supposed to be the door and this one is back but like how do you go back without clicking on the exit map that's how okay so you gotta if there's no like arrow that tells you like where the actual the hot spot is so you can't click on the exit map Maybe that's the reason why they put it there but if I try to open the door you can't walk through the door so I gotta first open and then click on the door and then I can't open the door. The door's already open, so I gotta let go and go in the door. So the interface is a little bit outdated, but this is probably pretty good for the year that it came out in. It's a great, you know, it's a it's a, a point and click. It's I mean, it's, it's actually a point and click game. It's not a it's not a text adventure. I, I take it back. It's a point and click game. I'm not. You didn't see me typing anything. So there's text on the screen, and there's no like, you know, speech or anything like that, as far as I can tell. But that's. That's how they all were back then. It's it's not like King's Quest either. It's not like where you walk, you move the mouse, you know, you, you walk around with the keyboard and then you type what you want to type. I mean, the early King's Quest before King's Quest V. It's much more like King's Quest V, actually, which I think came out in 1990. When did this game come out? Uh, let's see. Did it say anything when I started it up? Let's see that again. Uh, it doesn't doesn't say here. Copyright nineteen ninety. So this came out the same year, I'm pretty sure, as King's Quest, which I mean, King's Quest Five rather, which was sort of a pioneering game for point and click. Now, obviously, there were point and clicks before that, especially like you know, I on the back like Deja Vu and Uninvited and stuff like that. But this is still pretty pretty early for point and click. So the fact they haven't got the interface completely right is not so surprising. When did Maniac Mansion come out? I think that was actually earlier too. Right? That was like eighty eight or something. I don't know. Anyway, it's it's an early ish point and click game. I'm not gonna play it now because I do have it separately and I'd rather, you know, play it from my personal copy, even though it's sealed and I have to open it. Um, that'll be a fun video, probably. Yeah, we're definitely going to play this Always Asleep, just not, 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 it's like, you know, as they say, you know, someday the Duras family will rule the Empire. Perhaps. But not today! Ah! <laughs> now. <laughs> it's a long game, dude. Alright, let's quit. I told you, I can't stream... Oh, you missed that part, but I can't stream for so long today. Uh, Alright, what's Ancient Adventure? Oh, this is not an adventure game either. Ancient's One Death Watch. Some kind of platformer, I think. Or is it an RPG? It's an RPG. It looks just... Oh, I think I played this before in the last stream, right? I turned it off for a second... I said this looks just like Ultima. Uh, no, I'm not streaming this evening. I can't really stream today, except for this little time. That's why I, that's why I grabbed it. But uh, I will be streaming tomorrow. Um, hopefully for a decent amount of time. So, although I probably won't play this tomorrow. I'll probably play something else different. Pro I, I'm thinking Atari 2600 tomorrow. Because I haven't done that in a while. Uh, Judy Auer character options. So this is like, um, ult looks exactly like, ult like this. Look, the pictures look like Ultima, but the Journey Onward gives it away that that's what, something it only says in Ultima. What's the view beginning? Or right, I gotta click, I can't press V, I gotta click on it. Oh, that's not really much of a view, it's more like read beginning. You've never felt the need to recall the memories of your youth. The dreams that have haunted you these last nights act as a reminder of where you came from, what you've seen. Playing in the fields are one of the strongest memories of your youth. There you spent much time exploring, playing the role of a wild adventurer. And as you grew older, you would get exceedingly fatter, or extremely farther from home. An unseen forest seemed to drive you to explore just beyond the next fridge. Sorry, I can't something in my mind, I guess. One day, however, you find yourself quite lost. Being young and experienced the art of survival, you look for the woman who is holding this scroll. And, and tell yourself you're going to have her at any cost. I mean this up. In the midst of swearing that you would never again wa wander so far from the path, I think you mean wander, 
You're suddenly startled to hear a strange music emanating from nearby. Why can't you play the goddamn music? You followed the sound of the captivating music. When you came from a small ridge, your heart almost stopped. Down a small valley, not too far away, you saw a fair maiden. I guess that's her. Never before had you laid such a fair... I mean, never before had you laid your eyes on such beauty. Sitting on a nearby boulder, forgetting your troubles, you listen intently to the soothing music. Where? I don't hear the music. Maybe it's like wrong with the audio driver or something. The simply magical music played a role in your readiness to sleep. Finally, when you could no longer fight the urge, you fell asleep. When you woke, you found yourself in your own bed, your own home. Had you been dreaming? Or had your wish been granted? It seemed too real to have been a dream. Had the beautiful woman. Period. You hear the music? Bullshit. Had the beautiful female been a fairy creature, a mythical forest race? You spent all of your available time searching for this fairy, but you never came upon her again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You never came upon her again? I guess it's only that one time, eh? <laughs> yeah, I agree the picture is pretty suggestive. Um, <laughs> tired of searching. Tired of searching and your own desire of travel, you left your home city of Loch Laven. During your long travels, when your life seemed out of control, you had to, but picture the fairy, and listen to the music, and do a couple other things we won't talk about, and your mind would be at peace. Never once would you, never would you have guessed that once again you'd be sleeping in the same town that you once left forever. Haunted by dreams, you returned. In your heart, you felt this creature did exist, and something had happened to her. When you first entered your hometown, you noticed the difference immediately. The people all stared at you in mistrust. No one smiled. I wish they could have, like, showed something here. It's just writing it all. Everyone seemed to fear for their very lives. Holding your sword in your left hand, close to your heart, you vowed to get to the bottom of this new evil. Yeah, it's like the Mona Lisa sort of, Louis. All right, what's a little note? Welcome to Agents 1 of the Death Watch. Game watch you by Farware Software. Okay. Agents 2 is larger and more featured, including a printed manual. Oh boy. Graphical hit book. Or the sequel. I dread your existing copies. I share why you remember you had to fartware. Was it farware or fartware? So, some 1995 was for shooting handling. Oh, it's in Canada. Canada, Ontario. I never heard of Canada. Okay. All right, let's journey onward. What's actually what's character options? See, like if you don't do this, it just starts off anyway, like you know, with the default character, I guess. Oh, no, this is not the one that I thought it was. I mean, it is. I'm not sure. I'm confused now. Maybe it's just about the Death Watch. This game was produced by Fartware Software. So I got four people in my party, I guess. Tempest, John G, Reese's Pieces, and Jamal. Um, this guy, John G, is all more life than everybody else. Like, what's the deal with that? Am I using some, like, default characters? Like, am I, like, in the middle of a game? I mean, like, these people who made this CD, like, took, like, someone's in-progress game or something? I don't really know. I guess left, straight, right, make camp. I'm going to click on it to do anything. What's S? Let's do nothing. Camp not of the city. Let's like heal or use potions. Not as, let's cast a spell. Examine what? Nothing. Use what? Okay. Okay, I'm in the inn. You may opt to enter the bar, take a room, leave the inn. Let's enter the bar. Made drinks. Welcome, says the maid. Drinks for one Draco. Okay, let's select the character to pay. This guy, pay. Beware of that haunted keep on the outskirts of town. Look at this guy. Let's talk to the barkeep. How it takes the new ale, friend. Of course, what he's going to say. Return to inn. Right to end. Right, let's leave the end. Fairly well. Alright, so how do I walk around here? 
See, I don't... It's like the Bard's Tale, basically, so far. I mean, that's what I equated to. I don't like the fact that I was just thrown into a place and I have no map or nothing. Like, I must know where to go. Yeah, I do some dude's house, right? So, like... Like, I don't know where the exit is. I don't know anything about how to play this game. The one that looked like Ultima, that was much more interesting to me. I like the Ultima interface better, where you walk around... What is it? The keyboard does work here. Okay, that's good. So, where am I going? I don't know. Guild. I mean, I'm sure you guys would trade your guys and buy... I should have started the game to create a character that has the sewer entrance. Okay, let's go do that. Use door. I just want to see what the what the what the dungeon look like. Ascending into the sewers, darkness. I don't have like a lamp or anything. Look at this guy. What <laughs> cool weapons he has. This must be some remains of someone else's game. It has to be. Okay. He's got like, he's got like this, you got this shirt on, these hands, these feet, but no private parts. It's blank there. Uh... Alright, let's try to do have a spell. What's this? Page two? Does it do anything? I gotta pick something? Alright, use my hel helmet. You can't use that. Alright, so can we like exit out of this? N? Oh, that's, I'll probably, oh, that must be the direction I'm going. It's an S before. How do I, how do I, how do I escape? I have to use something. Okay, only in combat. What about spells? It's not character. This guy looks like he's a spellcaster. Enchanted Flame. F3. I can't... I click on it? Oh, thank God. Jamal cast light. Alright, I figured something out here. Um, is like just this is the way I came in. It's really s slow too. Like, open the goddamn door. Okay, you can't click on it. You need to go forward. You're within the sewers, within the city of Lockleave, and cold and feeling word chills you, you very soul. It's like out of the giant. Cold and feeling water chills you very soul. Slime marks the wall. The smells of death and decay fill the thick air. Sorry about that, guys. I need to pass gas. All right, so like, I'm walking to the sewers here. I'm walking around. Nothing is happening. There must be like a monster here or something. What happened? Okay. A voice speaks from the well. A directed bowl of force that can crush bone. Only the best of armor can offer any protection. Drop this item and you may pass to discover what lays beyond. Select the item. What is this? A shield? Maybe, I would think like a morning star or a base. It's like a riddle? I don't think I have the item they're talking about. Let's click on this, though. Incorrect. Okay, well, that's fine. I just want to find a monster. Where the hell am I? I, can't, I, never, I never played a game like this where there was no, no monsters at all. What? Oh, there's stairs up. I went back to the beginning? I did somehow. All right, let me go this way. Oh, God. Another well? That's the same thing. I'm just hugging the left wall this time. 
All right, loading something. Probably a bad guy. All right, good at work. Attack. Attack. Attack at work. Not a ranged weapon. What's going on here? Jaji attacks the Orca for one damage. Reese attacks Orca and misses. Jamal defends. Orca misses Tempest. Oh, not a ranged weapon. What is he like? Oh, wait, cause, oh I see. Because these two guys are, are ahead in the, in, the, in the party. These two guys are in the back, so Tempest can't actually do anything. He was holding a bow, but he wasn't using his bow. All right, as I get, Tempest can't do what? What about John G? Hello? Why are you doing that? Oh, now I got to see his... Wow, he has good stats. <laughs> someone, someone cheated here. Look at this. Level 110 experience. He has like a bazillion. I mean, there's, there's no way you could possibly get hurt. Armor class 17 and Dungeons and Dragons, that'll be bad. Your armor class lower is good, but I bet you this game, a higher armor class is better. How do I exit out of here? I feel like this game is a little broken, too. It looks interesting. It looks like they tried to do something interesting here. But... I'm going to give the bow and arrow. Move short sword. I want to drag this to here. Move metal shield. Oh, I'll move it. Like, let me move it. Okay, come on. Move bow here. Alright, I give up with this game. There's, there's too much crap going on here. It's too, too hard to control. I can't even, like, freaking exit here now. Uh, Alright, well, someone messed with this game, obviously. I'll look into this one also, although, honestly, I'm not so interested in this one compared to the other one. The Star Trek game looked like more fun for me. This one, like, like I, I'm not the biggest, biggest RPG fan. I like them if they're good. I won't play, like, every single one, like I will with adventure games. This is like the like a like a version of the Bard's Tale, but I have no idea if it's any good or not. So, I guess what I'll probably do is also look it up and see if there's any reviews on it or anything. To sort of see if it's worth my time, but by default, I don't feel it is. Like, I don't feel the need to play an amateur RPG, especially when I'm having so much trouble with the interface. Like, I don't know how to close this right now. Like, there should be an X or something. I well, why can I not close this stupid window? Right, okay, I closed it, but I couldn't attack before. So, like, I still get an attack. Where? Here. All right, so now it's working? I, mean, I was just doing it wrong. Okay, John G, it's the freaking work. Is he dead? Oh, God, again. I feel like when I click, it doesn't work all the time. Does Reese have a mullet? You guys that before, too, and I she didn't see it. I guess he does. You want a piece of Reese? Human warrior. So this is like a real, a real guy. As opposed to the made up. So what can I press attack? Now it worked. See, it only works sometimes. Let's see if I can kill this guy. All right, finally, <laughs> we just need some Bud Light. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, I get the idea here. All right, he's dead. I'm back here. I'm going to quit the game. We'll, we'll check this out a little more. Make it two. <laughs> All right, well, so we still got a bunch more games on this CD. We have W through 9. I don't know why there's, there's 1 through... Why is there, like... Why is there at six here? Oh, because one of one to five is up here. I get it. Okay. All right. We'll check all these out as well uh, and see what they are. Um, but uh, for now, I think that's it. Unfortunately, I got to run a little early today. It's a bit of a short stream. 
I will definitely be back tomorrow, like I said, and I plan to stream Atari 2600, uh, at least something on there, so we'll see what that is. But thank you everyone who was here in the chat today. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody, to those in the U.S. and those not in the U.S. Happy Thanksgiving. But thank you specifically to all the wonderful people who are always here. And for today, you know, we had Pow Puck, Luis, Always Asleep, uh, Stars Manny, and a bunch, maybe a couple of lurkers, or maybe not. I think we had a few lurkers. But uh, if, make sure you like and subscribe. If you haven't done so, leave a good comment. And, uh, you know, you guys are all awesome. So we will do this again real soon. But for now, have a good rest of the day. And again, happy Thanksgiving. And peace out, you all. Thanks for being here, guys. Appreciate it. So long.